at your right stands the queen in robes of gold, finely arrayed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And, and grant, grant us our salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the mother of your Son to be our mother and our queen, graciously grant us sustained by our intercession. We may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as men make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord, forever. Who is like the Lord our God? who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dumb hill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. 
Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, may it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, our church celebrates the memorial of the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This title given to her, Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth, makes all the sense in the world, both historically and biblically, if and only if you hold that Jesus Christ was a good practicing Jewish boy, and man. If you do not believe Jesus was Jewish, then it will be hard to profess the queenship of Mary. But if you hold Jesus is Jewish, then you must hold that Jesus would have had knowledge of the Jewish scriptures, the Jewish traditions, the Jewish history. And there's one particular aspect in Jewish history, which is also found in Jewish scripture, dealing with Solomon. You remember, King David had some sons, but he loved the son of Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah, Solomon. And after his older son, had uh, tried to usurp the throne and that had failed. When David finally rested with his fathers, his kingdom, a united kingdom, was passed on to his son Solomon. Solomon, at one stage in his reign as king, scripture tells us he has 200 wives and 300 concubines. It could be vice versa, but let's just say it's 500 ladies living under his roof. Now, I was thinking about that this morning. You go see wife number 107. Uh, does she have a name badge? Hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm wife 107. And then it's been give or take 499 days since she and you have had a talk? What's she gonna say? So, how you been? 107? Oh, let me tell you about it. Okay. Now, of the 200 wives, which one is the queen? That's a good question. Who do you choose? Is it wife number one? Wife number 101? The answer lies in no one. None of his wives is the queen. The queen, in fact, is that title is reserved to his mother, Bathsheba. She is the queen mother. That's how the Jewish hierarchy would operate. It's the queen mother. And that's how we understand Mary. 
Because today you heard in the Gospel of Luke, this beautiful story of the Annunciation, where the Archangel Gabriel says that of the child to be born, Jesus, he will be given the throne of David his father, and his kingdom shall last forever. Automatically, throne, kingdom, denote, king. Jesus is the king. In fact, we have a celebration in our church, Christ the King, at the end of ordinary time prior to the beginning of Advent. For Christ to be the king, if we hold he is Jewish, then he would have had in his kingdom a queen. And who would be that queen? His mother. Mary. And today we honor her under that title, Mary Queen, Mother. Now, one last thing I'd be remiss if I didn't say. When we were, let's say if we were alive during the reign of Solomon, we're all good practicing Jews, us here at the church, those on video, we could have pleaded our intentions to the king. We could go directly to him and say, Sire, this is what I would like. We could have gone to run one of his royal court officials, maybe the head of the military. Can you speak to the king on my behalf? But could we not also have gone to the Queen Mother and say, Queen Mother Bathsheba, would you speak to your son, King Solomon, and ask him on my behalf? Oddly enough, our Jewish ancestors did that. We do that. But yet some of our non-Catholic Christian brothers and sisters do not understand that. It's not that the Queen Mother, be she that Sheba in the reign of Solomon, or Mary in the reign of Jesus, they cannot and they will not ever go behind the king's back, try to overrule the king. That's not how it works. God bless you. Thank you. The Queen Mother would always be able to plead on behalf of the subjects, but she would defer judgment to the king. If the queen mother went and said, Bathsheba, my son Solomon, King Solomon, you've got Fred. Fred asked this favor. He asked if you will release George. The king can say, hmm, yes or no. But Bathsheba would not have said, okay, you said no. Therefore, I'll let him out anyway. You said yes, but I don't like George, so I'm going to keep him locked up. No. The same is true as we approach Mary. We go to her as queen and say, Queen Mother Mary, could you present my need to your son? Yes, I can go directly to your son myself, but it doesn't hurt if I also ask you to ask for me, to intercede for me. And I can go to the Queen Mother and say, Queen Mother Mary, we're trying to build a new church here at St. Thomas. We need a million cash dollars. We're on our way, but we're not there yet. Let me win the lottery. Will she present that to the king? Let's say she does. And he says, no. Will she go behind me and give you the winning lottery tickets? No. No. But if I go to her and say, Mary, Queen Mother, would you do me the favor? Would you help me to get to know the King, your son, in a deeper way? Would you 
ask him to assist me to become a holier priest, a holier man. For you, maybe, holier men and women, husbands, wives, fathers, mothers. That is more of a pure intention. Yes, yes, she would easily go and do that. And I'm sure her son would say, yes, yes, I will help them to be better, to be more holy, to become saints and reside in this, my kingdom for all eternity. So we'll leave it there. But please, I encourage you, speak to her, the Queen Mother Mary. Ask her to bring you closer to her son, the King. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video. And for the needs of you here present in our church today, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our government and our government officials. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for the repose of the soul of Archbishop Oscar H. Lipscomb and the consolation of his family and our archdiocese. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father on this a memorial of Mary. Let us conclude with that beautiful prayer given to us by Gabriel himself. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth of work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual fruit. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord. Pray to be given strength by the humanity of Christ, who offered Himself to you on the cross as the unblemished oblation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all of the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. 
When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the altar of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are all of your glory. Bless our own eyes. Bless your seed, come to the name of the Lord. Bless our own eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord in heaven, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and fill us our trespasses, as we fill those who trespass against us. And bring us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lay not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever. And Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your sin. The Lamb of God. You take the great sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take the great sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take the great sins of the world. 
Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old man who does who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Having received this heavenly sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that we who reverently celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary may merit to be partakers at your eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, your archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and sins of the devil. May God rebuke him when he comes to pray. Amen. 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 Divine graces, blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, your God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of God. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and His Lord. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be our Mother and Mother. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the Most High God. 